Some of these days I'm going home Where no sorrows ever come Will soon be done Will soon be done With troubles and trials Troubles and trials Saved from heartaches, pain and care We shall all that glory share and I'm gonna sit, sit down, down beside of my Jesus. Jesus. Lord, I'm gonna sit, sit down and rest a little while. We'll soon be done. We'll soon be done with troubles and trials. Troubles and trials in that hole. Yes, in that hole. On the other side. And on the other side. And I'm gonna shake, shake glad hands with the elders. Lord, I'm gonna tell my kindred good morning And I'm gonna sit down beside of my Jesus Lord, I'm gonna sit down and rest a little while I shall behold His blessed face I shall feel His majesty's grace Will soon be done Will soon be done With troubles and trials Troubles and trials Oh, what peace and joy sublime In that home of love divine And I'm gonna sit down beside of my Jesus Lord, I'm gonna sit down and rest a little while I will soon be done Will soon be done with troubles and trials Troubles and trials in that hole Yes, in that hole On the other side And on the other side And I'm gonna shake glad hands with the elders Lord, I'm gonna tell my kindred good morning and I'm gonna sit down beside of my Jesus Lord, I'm gonna sit down and rest a little while I will soon be done Will soon be done with, with troubles and trials Troubles and trials in that hole Yes, in that hole on the other side and on the other side And I'm gonna shake Glad hands with the elders Lord, I'm gonna tell my kindred good morning And I'm gonna sit down beside of my Jesus Lord, I'm gonna sit down and rest a little while And I'm gonna shake glad hands with the elders Lord, and tell kindred good morning and i'm gonna sit down beside of my jesus and i'm gonna sit down beside of my jesus yes i'm gonna sit down beside of my jesus lord i'm gonna sit down and rest a little Amen. It's nice to be a Christian. Amen. Yeah. Open your Bible to the book of Proverbs, chapter 11. Chapter 11. Everybody standing, please. Chapter 11. We're going to read from verse number 24, I think. We have the uh, Proverbs 11, 25, 26, but let's start with verse 24, okay? Proverbs 11. 
We'll start with 24, okay? All right? If you are there, say amen. amen. Together, verse 24, 25, 26, go. They there is that scattereth and yet increaseth. And there is that withholdeth more than is meat, and it tendereth to poverty. The leper's soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. He that withholdeth corn, the people will curse him, but blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it. Now look at these verses. These verses ought to shape your attitude in giving. Amen. You ought to shape your attitude in wealth. Yeah, of course, not many of us are wealthy, but you know, if you are, if you have some blessing, this ought to be what you ought to follow. Amen. No, no man, because God guarantees blessing. Amen. The Bible says, He, the, <coughs> let me see, man. There is that scattereth, and yet what? Increases. God accepts through get increase. No, 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 no. Ang way ang mapubri ang tihik. Karang niwang nga tao nga anak lang sa bulsa, anak lang permi, tihik. Mao na ang Greek word sa poor. Ang Hebrew word is kuripot. Mga babae, pamino mo, ayong yung minyo o lalaking kuripot. Mm. Kaya din ang makapalit ni mo, ice candy. Kamura pong mga babae, mahili, ice candy. Ayaw ng kuripot. Di mo masakay o jeep. Lakaw lang. Kuripot man. Okay? He that scattered it increases. And that, and there is that withhold it more than his meat. Kuripot. But it tended to poverty. Verse 25. Tanan. The liberal show. But he that watereth shall water himself. Kung sige ka bahatag magpanalangin sa uban, ikaw sa panalanginan. Kung ikaw sige bis-bis sa ubang tao, ikaw bis-bis ang sad. Ang uban ninyo, wag ka kaligo. Nga naman, wag mag bis-bis. Mauna nga kita, murag wag we post atong kinabuhi. Dili ta malipayon nga naman, di ta mag bis-bis. Kakita ka inig bisbis ni mo sa kwan? Mga tanom? Magingin na ang tanom, salamat. Salamat, salamat. Salamat. Ano ba? Nakadoog mo, ano ba? Nakadoog mo? Wa? Ako sa wa. But you know, I'm just trying to look at them and they are happy. Amen. Father, we thank you for this time together. And Lord, I ask you to bless and to take care of this message and help us to understand that in the, in the, in the economy of God, we all want to become a blessing to other people. Bless us tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. As I told you at the beginning, this proverb ought to shape our attitude for wealth or for riches. As stingy, if you are stingy, according to the rule of God, it will lead to poverty. Kanang stingy, tihik. Generosity, in other, uh, uh, however, has, a, has, a, uh, has an opposite effect. The more you give, the more your wealth will increase. The more your wealth will increase. The richest man in the world is Jeff Boozer, 154 billion US dollars. And I will tell you this that man is giving to philanthropy. 
Bill Gates, the same thing. But I will tell you this. Generosity is an, uh, as an opposite effect. Selfishness is foolish. Do you know why? Number one, it dishonors God. If a man is selfish. Selfish also creates enemies. Poor thing. Dalo na siya. Dalo. Dalo. You know? It creates enemies. Now, so your giving is your testimony. In December 27, 2017, I received 100,000 pesos. And the other said, telephone is from Iligan. I said, Pastor, we just decided to give you 100,000 pesos and you spend it for anything that you think you like. I said, what? And the man and the, 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 the couple is speaking to me on the other side. I did not expect they will send me 100,000. That was December 27, 2017. I received the money and I did what I need to do. Paminaw ang naghatag. 40 days later on, in, the, in February 4, 2018, the same couple received another amount of money from a man they did not expect. I remember, and they received 153,000 pesos. Pastor, why are you saying that? I want, you to, I want you to know that this thing right here is a, is a testimony of the giving of a young man. The reason why they are surprised about the gift is because the young man was a young, a young people member of the church. And when he was a young person, But then later on after, after college, he nag-sakay sa barko, Nadaghan niyang kwarta, naghatag siya dito sa church, sa couple, 153,000 pesos. They did not know that they will receive this, but first, they gave me 100,000. My son, I will tell you this. There is truth in what the Bible is saying. And when God tells us to do something, my son, usahin magduha-duha pa ta. And yet we know that if we are following, you know, well, you know what the Bible says in the book of Psalms, he that, he, he that keepeth my ways shall be blessed. And if we will obey God's command in giving, God is going to bless you. Okay, four thoughts tonight. Number one. Number one. Your giving demonstrates the character of God. Our God is a generous God. Many times we do not think that God is, is giving. Hey, listen carefully. Everything that we have came from God. Tanang butang tanan kining atong itsura, gikan ni sa Ginoo. Nya Allah himan lagi akong itsura, Pastor. Allah higit ka ra. Kay kung pareha sa tagnao, ambo da kong problema oi. Yang anu sila pastor guapa man. Sagdila na mga guapa. Sagdilang kay dili na sila magwapa kung way batig naong. Ginoo, bati man aho nawo, magpasalamat ka. Ngano man, be thankful. Your giving demonstrates the, the character of what? God's character is like that. Look at Acts 17, verse 24. The Bible says in Acts 17, verse 24, God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, Dwell it not in temples made with hands, neither is there, is, neither is worship with men's hands, 
as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life. What else? Breath and all things. My son, if you are receiving, if you are receiving a blessing from today, it is because of the Lord. It is from the Lord. Kanina nakadawa to duha kapayas nya itlog nga bisaya nya na ay peers ha? Nya litsun pagyud. Ha natapit ko ato maturog gahigdan ako ba? Pag-ingon ng ay litso, awa na kung mawaka na pa humagawat, oy, ato dami sa kusina kayo, mahutan niya. <laughs> litso, kanang litso nga, litso dilisi. Kanang humog yun kayo yun. Ha? Puting lami ah. Pag-ana ko. Di man ang mukha ko na ani, pero usa ko na ito ni. Si Mami, ha? Si Mami? Si Mami, galing, galing ko na dito nga, ready to sleep na. Me, kaong ka uglison? Nisiga ang mataoy. Muragsiga ang adlaw. Gidana sa kisina. Wag yun mo smile. Ano lang siya? Gusto niya itong pangang panit. Folks, Blessing. When you give, you are demonstrating the character of God. Do not ever think that it is an isolated thing when you give to somebody. God makes a record. God makes a record of everything that you do. Not only that you demonstrate the character of God. Number two. Your giving celebrates the provision of God. When you, when you receive something, what do you do? Ano lang ka? Uy, lipay ka, uy. Ka-celebrate ko kagod. Galuksuluso ka sa hay. Kanato kami, kaiskula po sa college, inig, Inigdawat na ako ka ng sulat nga registered. Ikaw na. Anang ngit ako kaya ko. Anang yun o. Dili usan ako buksan ka ng patril ba? Patril. Pa-excitement. Pilakhanin o. Naggahe ng money order o. O niya, kung maana ka dito, makita ka sa bang sa dormitory yung isang kwarta na o. Yeah, tanah otak sini rong. Sini mah kita tu ke, apa malu was? My my friend, you may be a believer or an unbeliever, but when you receive something, you celebrate. The, you know, you celebrate what you got, what you have. Kaso karung December 13, maghatag man tag bonus sa staff. Wapag ane kita tawat ang celebrate nani. Lipay na kayo. Ang uban, di na matuok kayo nagkawat o December 13. <laughs> Nailistahan ko sa ipaliton niya. Uy, maubaw ito ni Ana. Uy. Pero listen kayo po. You know, when, when you receive something and you do, not, you do not get excited, there is something wrong with you. There is something wrong. Siritsi, siritsi ka na silong. Kanang chip security sa silong. <laughs> Makadawat nag 20 pesos, porting excited. Ay, 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 pa, dili pa doon, dili na pa doon dito sa corner, sa corner. ay, 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 mag, mag, mag computer ba, ay, ay, ay. Can I go very small? 
only 20 pesos. Kada biyernes nasa diha. Ang mga staff si Dawat og allowance. Pagkahuman ay wa na, wa na manghatag ingon sa rin si. Nga hindi man ko nila tagaan o ng allowance nga. Sige, mawag din po sa... <laughs> Sige, mawag din po sa kasi nila. <laughs> Nagunahuna siya, kitungod niya sa diri. Nagunahuna siya nga staff siya. Uy, subili nino nga dili sa staff, uy. <laughs> dili na sa staff. Anhi lang na sa diri. Nagipakao na to siya. Magpansag tubig, maglimpyo kasilyas, unya. Kanang mga kanang mga kwa diha mga mga taxi. Grabe kayo na siya. Nagkuha sa taxi diri kay si Ma'am Bibing tingali nga nagkinan niya. Ingon taxi, aw oh, ingon sa kwan. Di man ko kakondiri mo ato mo ato. Sige, 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 sige. Hado sa kerit siya kayo. Dahuti yan. You celebrate the provision of God. First Chronicles chapter 29. First Chronicles 29. Is it there verse number 14? For all things come of thee. And of thine own have we given thee. Hey, we give what God provided. Amen. We give what God, what God provided. Ang ubang mga tao, di yun mo hatag. Mau nang purdo yun lang pinamira kalisod-lisod. We serve it. We give not because of us, but we give because of God. God is the absolute owner of all that we have. When I was small, I, you know, we were living in the farm. Carabaos, chiketanan. Mga isunan, I will tell you. It's always nice to... The, we have no money in the farm, but we have plenty of food. We have plenty of livestock. If Kung dili lang katapulan sa bukid, daghang pagkaon. Purting daghan. Niyang among mga manok, daghang kayong mga manok for self-supporting. <laughs> self-supporting. Niyang mo ang, 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 ang si Papa mo yung, Rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Number three, your giving stimulates your dependence upon God. Every time you give, there is always an inner feeling in you, I am giving this, but God will be give again. You know, that's why Christians are happy people. Do you know why? Because we give, we give to the offering, but we expect that God will give. I promise, you know, I will open to you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there should not be room enough to receive it. That's a promise. And therefore, I should trust God to, that you are going to give to, to, to the offering. God is, God is already uh, intending to send another one. About three weeks ago, my, my sister in New Jersey said, Isa Manong, did you receive my balik bayan box? I said, yeah, long, long time ago. You know what she said? The statement I heard was very inspiring. Magpadala naman ko another balik bayan box. Ramana. My son, I will tell you this. When God blesses you, he that's not right there, what did not magdugang? God blesses you more. And because of that, your dependence upon God is stimulated. Lord, maghatag ko ani, ako ni tabangan, pero nakahibaw ko, Lord. Now you will give more to me later on. The Bible says in Philippians 4, 4.19, Paul said, But my God shall supply all your need. My son, you know what that is? That's confidence. According to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus, my son, ang atong ginoo dato kayo na. Dato kayo. Ang diferensya na ikang mga tao, pag tanaw sa ginoo, why sa mga tagba? Nga naman, because the gift or the blessing He gives to you, we could still see it. Paul said, my God supply our need according to the and glory by Christ Jesus. That verse expresses the confidence of the Apostle Paul because he pioneered missions in Asia Minor. When there was only one church, but as more churches were established, more people will involve in giving. My son, let me say this kindly, lovingly. If you are a Christian today, say amen. amen. If you are a Christian, say amen. amen. If you are a Christian and you are not involved in evangelizing any part of the world, Philippines, Europe, Asia, whatever, if you're not involved in missions, if you're not involved in supporting missionaries, if you're not even involved in, like in saturation we have in the Philippines, if you are not involved in giving, Michael, you are not involved in evangelization. And there is no church today that you can call a great church unless the church is giving to missions. My son, every time we look at the church, we look at the church according to the attendance. Oh, that's a great church. Brother Hiles has a high day of 36,000 in attendance one Sunday in Hamon, Indiana. His regular attendance is about 18, 16 like that every Sunday. But a high day of 36,000, double. But my friend, that is the biggest attendance in Sunday school all over the world. There is no one like Brother Hiles Church in Hammond. But it's only there. You do not measure the strength of a church by its seating capacity. 
You rather mission, me measure the strength of the church by its sending Amen. capacity. Right. A church may be small, but if it is involved in world missions around the world, my friend, that church is strong. Amen. Amen. If it is, then it's like, like 2,000. Because that is exactly the purpose of the church. The purpose of our life is, you know, to spread the gospel. God did not save us just to come here and get, and then, and, you know, enjoy the lesson and then later on die and go to heaven. No, God did not do that. If God wants you to be, go to heaven at once, he would have, he, hit you with a hammer on the head and you go to heaven. But my friend, while you are alive, while a church is living here today, my friend, you look at it from the standpoint of how much missions money is being, is being given to, to missions. Yeah. How many missionaries are surrendering to the Lord? Yeah. How many of us have been willing to pray for missionaries that go around the world? We have so many missionaries in Africa. We have one in Zanzibar, Madagascar, in Southeast Asia. Mga Ison, I will tell you this. The burden that comes to the Apostle Paul during that particular time, he started churches, and then when more churches were involved, more missions money was taken care of. And the Bible says that they supported the Apostle Paul. They supported the Apostle Paul. You know, it's nice, it's, it's nice for a missionary to, <clears throat> to hear a promise from the pastor, ah, Brad, we will support you from the pastor. That's good. But sometimes the promise do not go through. Tagpaabot na lang ang missionary, wag yun mo to pa. Mga Ison, when you promise a support for a missionary, you better make it good. Because we will be dishonest if you don't support somebody like that. And by the way, number two, do not ever select a missionary. Ah, kini ako supportaran ni, kini di rin ako supportaran. Hey, if that missionary is called by God, we ought to support that. Gitawag na wuna sa ginoo. Ah, di ko mo support ana kay Diliman, Diliman Bible Baptist, Dilioy. Gusto mo hindi mag-evangelize sa kalibutan. Bible Baptists lang. Bisag dili Bible Baptists, basta gawalin sa pulong sa ginoo. Ingin sa mga disciples, Lord, kaya mga tao di rood, di naman ni kaoban ato, pero gawalin sila, o niya gimension na imungan. Ingin si Jesus, dili na nato kaway. Kung alingin lang minsay, parehas na ato, ato ng kaoban. Ang ubanan ito, di naman ni Bible Baptist Church, hindi naman ang nataba. Mga iso na on sa mooy. Aka na, nagbisita na si Tato, di na taga Bible Baptist Church. Taga buhol na siya niya, di na ito ko na. So, hindi ako taga buhol. Kini mga taga buhol, puti magpanggaan eh. Anak, tatay, sa kadlaw ang 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 kwanay sa si Lucio pa ulit sa buhol. Ingo na may ingo si Ricardo, insa. Siyo, naapang ba po dia sa pantalan ba? Ang angkong tatay, kamusta kita ha? Isa, oo, oo. Rasa ba, sa layo-layo na. Siyo, bantay ha? Angkong tatay, kamusta kita? Layo na kita, layo na kita. Siyo! Ang akong tatay, kamusta ka giyod? Layo giyod. Kanang gamay na lang makita sa vapor. O yan, ang silosyo layo na kito kayo. Isa, siyo! Niabot ang Amerikano. Hey! What, what, what is happening here? You are shouting! He said, yes, because my friend is going to Bohol and I ask him to be as regards my, my parents. Where is that? Right there in that boat, right there. Very small. Tapos, oh, yeah, oh, he's with my binocular. I will help you. You look, you see him there. Gitan na ako sa kanang, sa kanang, 
o teleskopyo ba yan na? Doon naman kayo. Yan siya. Siyo, bantay ka siyo, ha? You're giving stimulates your dependence upon God. And when God gives you something, remember this. By the third missionary journey, the church had become stronger, and now they were supporting the Apostle Paul. How did we know that? Philippians 4. Tanawa. Philippians 4. Philippians 4, verse 14. Notwithstanding, ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. Now ye Philippians, this is the Apostle Paul. Now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me. The word communication means no church supported. The word communication is not cell phone or like, no, 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 no. Communication is sharing. Nobody supported me, nobody communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. Wow, panalangin, verse 16. For even in Thessalonica, ye sent once and again unto my necessity. You know what happened? When the church started to give, God gave them stronger, stronger church, more income. They were able to support, support, support. Later on, they were supporting the Apostle Paul regularly. Kung ikaw maghatag giving, ginagmay, ginagmay, ginagmay. You know, before, when we were at 517 Treasure Bill, sa Girls' Dome diha, ang akong primerong hatag, one peso. Missions. Yang mga babae, mga two pesos like that. Yeah. Ang among sistema ginadto sa pag, when we started missions in 1961, mangita kami ako ng ibaligya sa budiga. Butilya, mga papel, mga cardboard, ana. Yeah, ang halin, ihatag na sa mission. Unya later on, wanay ibaligya gigan sa budiga, wanay karton, wanay butilya, wana. Unsa na karon? Nagsali kami sa Gino, we began to pray. Sometimes we think that our missions money will come from what we see right there. Sometimes it's all by prayer. It's all by prayer. We pray, we pray. Ay, salamat na ako, missions money. Kana ito ba? Di ba? Oh, salamat. Pag tapos, nag-ride ka sa, kung ha, nag-ride ka sa, 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 sa jeepney, o niya, ka nang jeepletihan ka, tagay ka na ito, 5 pesos raman ka na ito. Karoon, 10 pesos na, di ba? 10 pesos raman? 8? 8? Ocho? Oh, makasave ka. Inyong sikula sa inyong asawa, dai. <laughs> Hu! Hu! Nakasave ko, dai, karon. Pila. Wana, wa ko kapliti rin kay gigukod lang na ako ang jeepney. Nakasave ko, Jesus Pesos. Ingon siya, Minus ka kayo, huwag ka maghuna-huna. Ang imam gigukod ka ng jeepney. Dakmas dako unta ang imam saving kung imam gigukod taxi. <laughs> Ingon sa iyong sawa, minus ka dong. Mas may pa huwag siya mag-report. <laughs> Mas may pa huwag siya mag-report. Kanaunta, mas dako ang imong saving kung imong gigukod, taxi! <laughs> mga istorya, makitawa na kayo, mga istorya, makasave kayo, mabata na wa, masave ka kwata, mugukod ka sa jeepney. And yet we know that in all these things, 
that was not what we do. That was not, that's not was the way we, we, had, we have to have our faith promise. Our faith promise, we pray for the faith promise offering and God supplies. Now no more, not anymore one peso, not anymore five pesos. Mam saha, two pesos na. Mam saha. Katong ubano wa gani. Agbana backslide na lang. But my friend, we ought to be involved in this thing. For even the Sanaka, you send once again unto my necessity. Paul received mission support from the church in Philippi. This is the way God wants our mission missionaries. To be supported. That's why we expect, do not expect from man. Amen. Do not expect from convention or something like that. You know, expect from God. Saginoo giyud. Saginoo. You depend upon God. Did you not know that the creatures in the sea are depending upon God? Kanang tihi tihi sa dagat, they are depending upon God. Kanang kanang lokot gani, lokot kanang lokot. Masa gani ang lokot? Lokot lokot kanang iyang kwan. Pero katong animal gihapon animal. Don sol don sol. Kanang don sol gadipindi na sa kwan. Sa ginoo. Kanang lukot, ganahang matag lukot, kinsa yung ganahang lukot. So, ganyan talang ka kung unsa ng lukot. Kanang lukot, tae sa donsol. Ang ba niyo, di mukha o tae, donsol mukha yung mga, o donsol ng lukot, lumukha ang malagi mo. Lami kayo no, di ba? Oo. Oh. Lami. Musa ay, ang baboy nagkaog tayo, ang kamo lagi. Number two, creation depends upon God. Kanang snail, snail? Sa may snail sabihin siya. Snail? Huh? Kohol? Kanang kohol na ana sa rice field. Dili na snail. Kanang snail nga katong mularga na unta ang arka pero di makuha kayo na wapang kaabot ang snail? Gati bindi na sa ginoo. Oh. The creatures, all creatures of the sea depend upon God. The Bible says in Psalm 136 verse 25, Who giveth food to all flesh, for this, for his mercy endureth forever. Everything in the world is depending upon God. There was a man that was preaching, maybe he was joking. He said, God created the heaven and the earth. The rest is made in China. Have you heard that? That is a, that is a funny, funny statement, but that is not true. God made everything. So all these creatures, the lion, the lion depends upon God for his food. Now that I was looking at my, 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 my phone, unya naghunt ang kwan, ang leon, sa suba, nadagang buaya. Wag yun, mahad look ang leon. Makita sa buaya, dirigun niya pa ako, no? Ah, iyang dadon niya sa takas, ang buaya. 
Di gyud makalihok ang buaya. Mano ko magdakop mo buaya, di rikuniti. <laughs> Makadakop mo buaya. Mau na. Mano ang buaya? Ah, wadi ba? Di ako man di rikunit. Everything in the world depends upon God. Now the Lord makes a connection in closing Matthew six, Matthew chapter six. This is the connection. If everything is dependent upon God, chapter twenty-six, verse number twenty-six. Matthew six twenty-six. The Bible says, "Behold the fowls of the air." So the fowls of the air depend upon God. For they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the what? The lilies of the field. They sow. How they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon, in all of his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. There are many flowers that are beautiful. Many of you do not know it. The trees were created by God. Usahay mga tao may unang ang ginoo dili ka mo maghimo. Dili ka mo ang ginoo. Ingo siya ngayon, nga naman. <clears throat> Tiyo mo ang kalabasa, ha? Yan ang kalabasa. Bago na sa bagon, bagon, vine. Gakamang diha sa may ikwan, sa may, may, bas, may basak. Pero ang iyang kuhan, ang iyang bunga puting dagkua. So sa kadlaw, naglingkod siya. Naglingkod siya. Yung siya tinuod yun, no? Ang ginoo, di liwag ka mao. Kalabasa, dagko ang bunga. Pero kining kahoy, oh. Tama, ganoon. Ikuha niya ang bunga sa kahoy ba? Itong iyang giling ko, naggiling ko sa ilam sa kahoy. Puting, gamay kayo. Niya kampanya sa bunga sa kalabasa nga. Ang kalabasa na amara bago naman sa ang kahoy nga puting dagko kahoy niya ang bunga oh. So samtang gigat linggo sa dito, sa katulog siya. Na hulugin bito sa og kanang bunga sa kanang kahoy. Dirigyud. Ingon siya. Diyan mo kung kalabasa to. <laughs> Ingan siya, now nagtuunagot ko nga kamaw <laughs> kama ang gino. <laughs> kamaw ang gino. Kay kung kalabasa pa itong nahog diri, awa mo mga diksak pa tayo sa iyang lakaw. Nao nga kamo, ayaw mo question sa kam, kam, pagka maayo sa ginoo? Kay maayo yun ang ginoo. Hmm. Nao na. So it is there, the fall is there. And it says, Wherefore, verse 30, If God so close the grass of the field which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we do, drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For all these things the gentle seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Tanan, verse 33. But seek ye for Tanan, ready, go. But seek ye for the kingdom of God. And he's. 
What is the lesson? We ought to put God first, and all the things that the Gentiles, mga unbelievers, are looking for, idugang rani mo. Ang diferensya na ito kay Bisag Domingo, baka-baka tani. Inay mo ani ka nga magsimba ka, dito ka sa call center, to anap, trabaho, ana. Nga no, nangita kay mga butang nga, parehas gipangita sa mga Gentiles, mga unbelievers. Ingon sa ginoo, ayaw, unaha. 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 Ingon si Kwan, itong the woman ba? Well, we have only a little, a little, little powder, a little cake, a little, a little flour, a little cruise of oil, and we will cook this, and and we will die. You know what Elijah said? You make me a little cake first. Ingon sa mga ingon sa preacher, pastang dalua sang preacher niyo. Takadin ka ni Prichira, siguro takamin na ni. Tiyan mong wana, gamay na lang nga rina, gamay na lang nga cruise of oil, siya pa'y magpauna nga nagigutom ng bata. Make me a little cake first. So, what did he do? So, the woman got made a little cake first. Pagkatapos, Nagkaon siya. Kanya, now you can eat, you can eat. Ingin sa babae, grabe na, nag-ingo pang, siya giyunan niya, mag-ingo pang, ako, to, ako na itong gikuha ang tanang arena, pati, pati taya, ako mag-apil. <laughs> but you know what happened? The Bible tells us that after that, the woman cooked the rest of the, of the flour with a little more oil, and the Bible says, ang barrel na puno, na puno, na puno of flour, unyang oil na daghan, na daghan, na daghan. Hyman Tugikan, miracle. Do you believe in miracle? <clears throat> The reason why we do not have miracles is because many of us would not exactly believe God the way this woman did. Wala mo tayo pagtoo. Ah, maghatag ko na yung mo. Hindi ko maghatag na yung mo kayo buwan ng mga akong bata, oh. Higutom na ni. Kaya kung di niyong magkawan, mamatay man ni. Namatay ni. Una ako. Yung isang, Pastor, ah, kanang, kung nausa ka ng, ka ng merinda usa. O, sa dila, sa dila kay, gabisit pa man ko. Ah, bisag, bisag gamay lang. Hindi, di lang, di lang. Yung isa, o, sige, sige, si balik siya, bisag tubig lang. Gunit siya sa baso. Pag gunit siya sa baso, yung isa nga, Di pa ang pas mo ani kung may pusupas. <laughs> Di pa merinda sa dili siya. Karon magsigi lang siya. Inya, o sige, tubig na lang. Inya, nangutan na pagod siya. Di ba na, di ba tamapas mo ani kung may supas? <laughs> Bantay good ninyo ang pastor. Pakan og una. Kaya kung di rin napakanon ninyo, walay arena, umudugang. You know what this miracle is telling us? This is telling us that God will honor faith wherever you are. You demonstrate the character of God. <clears throat> you celebrate God, the provisions of God. You stimulate your dependence upon God, and lastly, you communicate the worth of God in your life. There are many people today that, you know, they just take God for granted. 
They don't think it's important that God, we, they will give the best to God. Oh, kini nga kung, Juan, pa Bible school ni, ang ihatag nila ang asmahon. Doon, hala, sige, ikaw ka, may asma ka, ato ka, Pastor Jalba, ato ito. Mag Bible school ka. Ikaw doon, dito ka si CIT, kay nindutin mong lawas, anak, Ni ikaw dai kay may man imo lawas dito ka sa sa normal university mag nursing ka ang asmahon in town mo ihatag sa bible school ay nigwali sa <coughs> ang abi ta sa versikulo 3 <laughs> And do you know why it is that way? Simply because people disregard how important God is. One day David said, I'm going to build an altar. So he went to Arauna. And he said to Arauna, I am going to build an altar for God. And I would like to buy your oxen, the wood, then the altar to be built. Arauna said, Oh, my king, you are my king. I don't want you to pay this. Don't pay for it. I will give it to you free of charge because you are my king. You know what David said? David said to Arauna, I'm not going to give anything to God that does not cost me nothing. If you surrender to God and it will not cost you anything, murag minus ang epekto. There are many people that give themselves to God and they turn their back upon a flourishing job. I have a friend in America, his name is Dr. Ingram. He comes from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Dr. Ingram was a, was a great businessman. God called him. His wife said, Howard, I heard you say that you're going to surrender your life to the Lord. He said, are you crazy, Howard? You're going to leave this message, business? What about us? He said, honey, God called me, and God is telling me to just surrender this business. Good earning business in Albuquerque, New Mexico. You know what happened? Dr. Ingram surrendered that business, and he went into the ministry. It cost him a lot to be in the ministry, preaching the Word of God. When he died, before he died, he had so many churches in New Mexico and in Texas area. So many, many works that he has started. In fact, he is called the Pope in New Mexico, the Pope. Because of the many churches he started and gave it to different people. Then he would go away to another place and start another one. He gave it to other people. I was in Farmington one time and uh, Brother Cecil Wagner was there and Dr. Wagner said, Brother Gisalva, this work used to be Dr. Ingram's, but he gave it to me. Started another one, another one, another one. Later on, he had so many churches that they called him in Texas and New Mexico, the Pope. So when I was there one day, he said, see, Here's Dr. Jusalma from the Philippines. Will you let him preach over there? He will just call the boys, boys. Let him preach. Let him preach. And he said, you give him a good love offering. This is a Filipino here. Manduan katagaan ka mayong love offering. But my friend, the history comes back to the time when he surrendered his life to the Lord. His wife was crying, Howard, please consider. But he gave it up. 
My friend, you are going to surrender yourself to the Lord. You should, you should be willing to give up anything that you know will be a hindrance. Ang uban na ay job, gitawag sa ginoo, di ligid mag-surrender. Nana, di ligid. Politician, nagpastor, politician lang gihapon. Barangay captain, nagpastor, barangay captain lang gihapon. Kung pastor ka, wala na'y barangay. Wala na. Kanang businessman, magsurinder sa ginoo, ayaw na. Ayaw na. Nga naman, the Lord deserves your full-time, full-time energy to be able to serve the Lord. And my, if giving has any importance in our life, it is the very thing that God asks from you to do. And the verses we read today, it ought to shape your attitude on, rich, on riches and wealth. What do you do every time you get, a, you get an amount? Every time I get the amount, every, the moment I get it, immediately I put an envelope, my tithes, my love offering, my mission offering, my foundation offering, Bible college offering. Then I go to sleep, everything is settled. Sometimes people forget. They pay the pag-ibig, bayad sila sa 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 kwan, sa 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 tindahan nga nautangan nila, nagpalit na na, stockings, pulbos, Body, body and shoulders, or gana? Kanang. Oh, ana, downy. Nya, tight. Sun rocks. Pagkatapos na bilin. Agui ang na bilin. 150 pesos. Nya, ang tight sa tofil. Wa pa makua. Kung na kamu yi amount. Unaha ang gino. Kay bisag makapabulyaso sa expenses dire basta na lang sa Ginoo. Yeah. Right. Ang mga ingon. <clears throat> Unya, ang atong kwarta 100,000 pili hatag sa Ginoo. 10,000. Da ko ara nang 10,000 oy. Aw, atong iatras sa imong income 50,000 na lang. Pili imong ihatag 5,000 na lang. The cost of 5,000, iatras sige habon nato sa 20. 2,000 na lang imong kuan. Kay kung dako ang uhalis, dako usad ang butonis. Ang ang dako ang imong uhalis, ang butonis ni mo. Ana, mas may pag imong butonis lansang. Di gyud na makuan diha. Kadto mi gagbay pa mi porting pubrihan na mo. Nya short pan nga kanang kawan kanang kanang abaka. Dali man matangtang ang buto ni sana. Ingo ma, wa nay buto ni sad. Isa na ay bayabas ang hana buto ni na mo bayabas. Bayabas. Dili madaot dayon ang imong buto ni sa ang imong short pants. Nga naman bayabas man. May soon, God honors the person who is a giver. Kung maghatak ag time sa imong talents, nga mag-ayaw ka mo kanta, panaligin nga ka. Kaya nga, doon na gani, daghang yabag nga, gusto ko yung mo kanta. Ingo, ingo, practice o sa. Mga nga din ako, Pastor, pwede bang magkanta ko diha? O sige, pero kahit ba ako nga yabag, practice lang ko, pag-practice, hang to doon nga, practice pa. Practice lang usa. Sa amo ang pagpangulitaw, kanang mangulitaw ka, harana. Gitara, harana. Dungawin mo hirang. Ano ba? Ang nananambitan. Unya ka na mukan tana dili yabag. Kay kung yabag ang mukan tama sa kinsa man ang kanta diha no? Wa kay suman, wa kay budbud, wa di ka pasudlon. Nga naman ang kanta yabag. 
mawa ang imong panalangin. Kamong mga yabag, practice usa mo. <laughs> Giving. You demonstrate the what? The character of God. Giving. You celebrate the provision of God. Giving. You stimulate your dependence upon God. And number four, when you give, you show the worth of God. You communicate the worth of God to other people, how you love the Lord and how you really appreciate very much God's blessing upon your life. My son, I don't know how this message comes to you, but you know, if you are encouraged with this message, you ought to say to the Lord, Lord, please help me. You know, tabangay ako sa akong paghatag nga, dili lang nga ma-faithful ko, kundi matinod anon sa akong responsibility nga magtabang sa ubang mga tao. And tonight, my friend, listen, it's important to know that the God in heaven who knows our need, He knows what to do with us. The need, in, the physical need, the spiritual need, the material need that we have, God always remembers and knows that. And therefore, because of that, He's going to bless you. If you will promise to the Lord, Lord, help me that I will be faithful. Every head bowed, every eye closed. No one looking around. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to ask Mam Deshi, you know,